All right, good morning, friends. Today is Saturday, September 2nd, and August has come and go, so I need to film and edit and publish and share with you my August favorites. All right, so the first thing I want to let me fix books. I finished three books in August, um, two nonfiction and one fiction. I read a fiction book and I'm really happy I got that done. But the first book is called Viralnomics by Jonathan Goodman. Viralnomic is about like mastering social media. So anybody that is using social media to market themselves, whether you're a coach or a plumber or whatever like this, there's some really good stuff in this book for you. So because you know, obviously like social media is changing and it's changing at a very rapid pace. Like, you know, what works yesterday might not work today for whether pla whatever platform you're using, whether it's YouTube or Instagram. And who knows, we might not even have those platforms a year from now, we might have something else. So the book isn't about like how to be a master on specific platforms or by specific strategies. He just talks about the like, overall theme of like human interaction and why people click on things and why people remember certain things and how to be the guy that they think of when they have a certain problem that needs to be solved and whatever problem you solve. So I wrote a short review about this on my blog, which I will link below underneath the video. Even though I'm working on getting another blog, uh, I'll just put whatever link I have up right now. Book number two, I think it's gonna be one of my favorite books. It takes a while for something to be my favorite book. I kind of have to read or listen to it a couple of times and continue to refer it, and it has to kind of change my life for it to be a favorite, but it is on its way to being a favorite of mine. It is called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck by Mark Manson. And it is, it's it's a self-help book, but it's it's so refreshing because so much of the self-help stuff that I read nowadays or ever, and I'm addicted to self-help, most everything I read is something along the lines of you're awesome, you can do this, you are so wonderful, you know, say this to yourself in the mirror and things will work out, blah, blah, blah. And I don't, I'm not describing any of it, but it was just so refreshing to hear this type of self-help which basically came up from almost like a not cynical but just like a like a cold reality check and one of the things in the book that he says is like life is but a series of problems which is not what you want to hear from something that's supposed to help you be happier consider it when people think of like their ideal life or what they want for themselves they think that it's like some magical place in the future at that point in the future, like, they won't have any problems, like, everything will disappear. But if you don't have any problems, guys, you will make up a problem. Like, you will make up something to be upset about or something to do because solving problems gives us something to do, like, gives us something valuable to do. It makes people happy to solve problems. So, and he said the point of trying to get away from your current problems is to basically trade them in for better problems. You will always have problems, you know, when you have that romantic relationship, you have the problem of uncomfortable conversations or awkward silences as you like confront certain things, but like that's probably a better problem than being lonely and single, you know what I mean? So that's just kind of what he talks about and it's just so refreshing. I listened to it on Ottawa, I kept on tapping it and tapping it because I wanted to bookmark everything and I still have to go through all my bookmarks on my uh, Kindle app to, you know, compose that blog post or something. Next, I did read a fiction book. I've been trying to get in, back into fiction reading um, because a nonfiction book told me that it was good for you. Called Burning Glass by Catherine, oh gosh, what's her name? Burning Glass by Catherine Purdy. And it was, it was pretty good. It wasn't, you know, that great. I would maybe give it 3.5 or four out of five stars. I know there's a sequel and I'm not buying the sequel. I somebody who can like, who is hypersensitive to the feelings of others. And it's just about this girl who's like an advisor to an emperor and she has to like, she has to protect him by sensing any kind of misintent or malintentions. Malintent, I don't know if that's a word. Sniff out an assassin or whoever, that's her job. It was an okay book.
And the other thing I wanted to discuss throughout the day for my August favorites, I, I think for my July favorites, I mentioned this website slash Facebook group called Manifestation Babe. And it's really just like this self development resource. I really like that group. And um, I bought a couple things from the shop there. And then I, this month, August, I signed up for their like VIP membership group. It to me and I really love, I love it. One, I love being, I love calling myself a VIP member of this tribe. Um, but also there's just a, like a lot of good resources there about just personal development, uh, real stuff, but also like the woo-woo stuff, like let's like have a guided meditation, but there's also like some actual like, here's like a workbook for you to you know, grow your business or whatever. So it's, I really like it a lot and it's been totally worth the $33 a month. It's only like a dollar a day when you think about it and it, it has been adding to my life since I started it. All right, so I got gas for my car, filled it up. Now I'm here at the library to get some work done. Couldn't do it earlier because the internet at my house isn't working. Locked myself up here in the library and not about what I'm doing. This is about my August favorites. But I think that I started following some new people on YouTube. I think her name's Marie Johnson. She's like a travel um, YouTuber. Um, she has like informational stuff as well. And I've been watching a lot. I've been watching a lot of travel stuff basically. Marie Johnson, Psycho Traveler, Travel Light, and Mackenzie Fly. She's not really a travel channel but she did move to Hawaii. Everyone that I've mentioned except for Marie have kind of like settled down in the country for a while now. So I'm I kind of really just watching their old stuff. But I really like Mackenzie's new stuff too as well like lifestyle things as well. So I think that's it for YouTube stuff and no one really knew on Instagram or anything like that. But that is all I have for my August favorites. Thank you.